Toby Johnson is a 6'6 sophomore playing for USC and is the younger and smaller brother of Jalen Johnson, who was drafted by the Hawks in 2021. He didn't play enough his freshman season to get on my radar, but he's become a starter for USC this year, and he's currently ranked in the top 10 of my sophomore statistical rankings on a per-possession basis, with his only real red flag being his relatively low usage rate, which means the shooting sample can't be relied on too heavily yet. At any rate, the rest of the statistical profile is intriguing enough to warrant an eye test, so let's jump into the tape of his recent game against Auburn, which boasts a top 10 defense according to Ken Palm.
There's a whole lot to like about Kobe Johnson as a quote-unquote glue guy who can potentially be both a mobile wing defender who racks up steals and deflections and a high-level connecting piece on offense with above-average vision and passing ability. I have significant concerns, though, which ultimately lower his grade to a B-minus for now. On defense, while he was sensational in this game and seemed to be everywhere, I do have to add the caveat of USC relying so heavily on zone. This really does make it tricky to evaluate because you have to separate the player's ability with the scheme, putting him in a position to make plays more often. While Kobe is a mobile and a good athlete, I don't think he's an elite athlete and his tools seem average, if not somewhat below that of a starting NBA wing these days. But he does look to me to have well above average instincts, anticipation, great hands, and the motor to be a plus defender. In truth, my largest concern right now after watching him closely for the first time is simply his shooting and scoring profile. I simply can't judge what I can't see, and at this level, if you can't create shots or you avoid taking shots when they're created for you, it doesn't bode well for the next level where things only get harder. There might be a really good shooter and scorer that I simply didn't see in this game, but I think more likely judging by his usage rate this season, this is an area where Kobe is just going to have to get better and improve himself down the line. If and when that happens, I could see buying Kobe as a solid first round pick. There's really a lot to like here otherwise. I'll be interested to see how he develops this season and going forward. Okay, that's all I have for now. If you like this video and want to see more of this type of content, please like and subscribe and leave comments or questions below. Do you have a player you want me to review? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace.